This video is presented by VoiceOver Article Stopping terrorism is not like gambling, in poker there are different variables that can affect the outcome but at fighting terror the only way to win is to fight to the end. Many people think that the terrorist feel they have been wronged by something or someone and that giving them something will end the fight be it land or money, but history has repeatedly shown us that by appeasing the terrorists we are only giving them what they want, and prolonging the fight. They will continue to take everything they are given but they never stop wanting more. An example of this is clear in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Israel allows the PLO to return to the West Bank and Gaza and form the Palestinian Authority, Israel supplied weapons and the Americans provided training to the Palestinians so they could start an army to fight crime and terrorism. Israel was repaid by the terrorists by suicide bombings in malls, restaurants, clubs and buses. More recently Israel pulled all Jews from Gaza and gave all the land to the Palestinians. The Israelis left behind infrastructure and greenhouses, which could have been used for businesses by the Palestinians. The moment the last troops were out of Gaza the terrorists destroyed what the Israelis left behind and again repaid them with rockets on Stirat and Ashkelon, two Jewish cities bordering Gaza. Many of you are thinking that these problems were brought on by the Israelis stealing Palestinians' land, but what was it that the United States did that angered Al-Qaeda? Many will say it is because America has troops in Saudi Arabia where the two holiest locations to the Muslim people are, these people are wrong. This fight is not about the terrorists wanting America out of the Middle East. This was is about the pride of one individual. Osama bin Laden, and that's all it is about. In 1991 when Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, Saudi Arabia was worried and was looking to get help to protect its oil fields. Osama bin Laden offered his assistance to help protect his homeland with the help of his Muhahadim, who had helped protect Afghanistan from the Russians in the 80s. But rather than gamble on bin Laden's holy warriors, the Saudis asked for help from the United States, and this wounded bin Laden's pride. Now bin Laden is on a quest to show the world that he is the true protector of Islam, do not be fooled this is a war of religion. The only thing that has ever worked is not to try to negotiate with these people but to fight them with force. You will find that with any military action against terrorists once you start to make some headway they will start to yell about a hudna or temporary ceasefire. When you are in a poker tournament in casinos online or land based and your opponent is almost out of chips, do you back off and let your enemy regroup or go all in and force him out? The only way to defeat terrorism is to fight terrorism whenever and wherever it shows its head, and to never let up on those who would use terror to forward their goals. This video is presented by Voiceover Article